Should you upgrade to the Pixel 7 Pro? I have been seeing this question a lot, and I think it's because this is such a nice Pixel phone that a lot of people are truly considering upgrading, even though the Pixel 6 Pro just came out last year. Hey, what's up, s'mores? My name is Shannon Morris. Welcome to Morse Code. So these are my six reasons that you may want to upgrade to the new Pixel 7 Pro. The display is upgraded in a few different departments. First, the curved display is a little bit less pronounced on the Pixel 7 Pro. So if you didn't like the curve on the 6 Pro, you may like this one more. On the edges of the Pixel 7 Pro, it is indeed a little bit flatter. So you don't have to deal with as much curve along the edges as you did on the Pixel 6 Pro. Second is the brightness, and you probably can already tell just immediately from the screen that I am showing here. The Pixel 7 Pro is loads better than the Pixel 6 Pro. For for example, it just snowed here in Colorado. It is sunny, it is very bright outside, but I can see the Pixel 7 Pro way easier than the 6 Pro. The brightness has indeed increased from about 800 nits over on the Pixel 6 Pro up to 1500 nits on the Pixel 7 Pro, which is almost doubling how bright this display can get. Now you may remember last year, I really criticized Google's optical under display fingerprint sensor in the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro because it was slow. I tested its speed against several other phones to show the difference in speed and technology, including other optical scanners, which use light to scan your fingerprint. Hence why you see that white circle show up whenever you press your finger down that's using optical fingerprint sensor technology. I also tested this against ultrasonic as well as capacitive. Yes, there are different kinds of technology. There are different brands making this kind of technology for phone manufacturers, and they all will give you different results in terms of accuracy and speed. Security is kind of my thing, so I really paid attention to the fingerprint sensor. This year, we have the Pixel 7 Pro, which is loads faster and much more accurate. They have obviously put some work in to the optical sensor, they upgraded it, and now I am actually pleased with the fingerprint sensor. I'm so happy to see that, and I'm so happy to say it. Also, this is number four. Face unlock is back. Oh, and it works. This is the first time we've had face unlock since the Pixel 4 series. I am so excited about it. It's so convenient. Face unlock on the Pixel 7 Pro is fast and it's accurate in a well-lit space. Doesn't work so good in a dark space, but it works pretty good with you know, decent lighting, but it cannot be used for unlocking apps because it's not as secure as using a fingerprint. With that said, if convenience of unlocking is important to you, the 7 Pro easily has the 6 Pro beat with the faster fingerprint sensor and face unlock. Next, I wanted to focus on the cameras. The new Pixel 7 Pro does have some upgraded tech. I'll show you some examples. For example, Super Res Zoom on the 7 Pro can hit 30 times zoom instead of the 20 times zoom that you could get on the 6 Pro. This is digital zoom, it's not optical, but for optical, zoom has also been upgraded to five times zoom as opposed to four times zoom. So you do get some upgraded zoom quality for the new Pixel 7 Pro. And lastly is screen on time. I'm making a very fast video today. I'm very proud of myself. I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes for once. The Pixel 7 Pro can do a little bit over eight hours. That's with 100% screen on time for the entire eight hours playing YouTube videos. It does last longer than my Pixel 6 Pro, which could reach about six to seven hours of screen on time. So in my testing, the 7 Pro is doing a lot better in that department than the 6 Pro. Should you upgrade to the Pixel 7 Pro from the Pixel 6 Pro? If the reasons that I have listed here are not worth your time, then no. If your Pixel 6 Pro is working fine, then no. The Pixel 6 Pro did have some issues for a lot of folks, but if you are not experiencing those problems, I would not recommend spending the money to upgrade. But if you are itching for the better display, the better cameras, the more convenient unlocking, especially for face unlock, the longer screen on time, then yes, upgrade, especially if you can trade in your Pixel 6 Pro and knock a few hundred bucks off the full price of a 7 Pro. If that's the case, then yeah, absolutely. If you have a contract with a carrier and they're allowing you to upgrade, then sure, go for it. But otherwise, I would say no. The Pixel 6 Pro is still receiving security and patch updates and it will be doing so for a few more years so you can absolutely stay on this one and be secure and be fine 
assuming you're not having any other issues with your phone. Now, if you have questions about the new Pixel devices, including the Pixel Watch and the Pixel 7 as well, leave them down below. I will answer them in my full reviews. I fully intend to do reviews all through November. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out one of these videos next, or you can subscribe right down below. I'm Shannon Morris. I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.